Things I think everybody should know. Basically, things that will show you've been raised well. Things that you just should have been taught by your parents. If you get through this video and you're like, sorry, this is common sense or like, oh, I always do this. Well, congratulations, you were raised well. Because I actually got inspired to make this video because of the amount of people I've met who do not do these things. Okay, we're filming in my kitchen instead now. By the way, a lot of these things may depend on the type of culture you're from, but in my That's opinion, these are just some general things that I think no matter your culture, you should be following. That's my opinion! Number one, when you're at a restaurant and you're not the one paying, someone is shouting you, never order the most expensive dish. Don't excessively order. And especially if you can tell they're trying to save money, you also should try to save them money. If their dish is like $40, you don't want to go order like the $60 dish. You should order the dish around the same price range as them. If they're not ordering entrees, you don't order entrees. If they don't want to order dessert, you don't order dessert. Basically, whoever's shouting, you don't want to put them out of budget and you should respect the fact that they are taking you out and that they are paying. When in a group, if you are talking about an event or plans coming up and there are people or a person who are not invited, don't talk about it in front of them unless you plan on inviting them because then you're just going to make them feel left out. When sending a message or calling someone, be mindful of their time zone. This actually is a really telltale sign of how mindful and respectful someone is in my opinion and considerate because as someone that's always traveling, I notice some of my friends, they will call me at like 3 a.m. Or if we are scheduling a call, they would be like, can you do like uh, 9 p.m. my time? And I'm like, bro, that's like 4 a.m. While when I'm scheduling a call, I will have their time zone already on my phone or I will Google it and make a conversion. Don't start eating until everyone has their meal. If you're really hungry, maybe they'll say to you, hey, you go ahead and start. But in general, you just shouldn't be starting your meal until everyone has their food at the table. And always when the water comes or the wine comes, pour other people's drinks first not into your own first. You should always serve other people, especially the elderly. When you are in conversation with someone and someone else joins, you need to include them. For example, when I was in Paris, all my friends speak English, but they're French. So when they meet my other friends, they will all speak in English so I can understand. There was like one situation where another girl joined us and she would keep speaking in French to my friends, despite being fluent in English. And my friends would always be like, mm, this is a little bit rude, and then try to get her to speak English. This is just something you need to be wary of, um, speaking the common language between everyone, so no one feels left out. When someone joins the conversation and you're in conversation with someone else, you don't continue the conversation because that person's going to feel left out. If you want to continue the conversation, you need to fill the other person in and give them a quick recap. Don't ask how much somebody earns. Even if in your household money is openly spoken about, it's usually not considered appropriate to ask somebody how much they earn. It's really important to always get somebody's name correct. Spell the name correct, say their name correct. If you forget their name, don't fucking say it. Go home ask someone else their name and then figure it out. Your name is the most beautiful sounding thing to oneself. And it's actually incredibly disrespectful to spell somebody's name wrong and get it wrong. Obviously, if it's a genuine mistake, sure, but you should always be making an effort to get somebody's name right. If I don't know how to say someone's name, I will literally Google it. I will ask someone else or I will bring it up in like a very casual way before meeting them. For example, I met a girl recently and I said, oh, is your name pronounced Lana? Like Lana Del Rey? Or is it pronounced like Lana, like in a more an American way? Okay, be punctual and respect other people's time. Yes, very fucking a given. However, most people do not do this. This can lead into a number of examples. Number one, do not cancel plans last minute unless you absolutely have to. And if you do, you better be apologetic about it and make it up to that person because otherwise you're wasting their time. If somebody messages you and invites you to something, be punctual with your response. And if you are not feeling up to replying to their message, you should at least let them know, hey, I don't feel like replying right now. Why well, don't feel like entering conversation with you? I'm not feeling very well, blah, blah, blah. Whenever I don't reply late to someone or I can't talk, I say, hey, sorry, I'm busy right now. Let me reply to you in a little bit. There's some situations where I'm incredibly, incredibly busy and it slips my mind, 
but this is a pretty rare occurrence for me. You know, I've seen a lot of videos that will say, always prioritize your mental health and your peace. If someone messages you and you don't want to reply, you don't even need to say anything. That's just rude. Wait guys, sorry, I just got a call. It's my therapist telling me that I need to go into my BetterHelp integration right now. You guys know I've worked with BetterHelp for so many years now and I'm a huge advocate of therapy, especially when talking about this topic. I think therapy helps you become the type of person who is more respectful, uh, aware of situations, aware of yourself and your own thoughts and that overall just makes you a better human being. So thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. BetterHelp is the world's largest online therapy service and their mission is to make therapy more accessible. It can be incredibly difficult to find the therapist that's a perfect match for you, especially when you're limited to your area. And that's why BetterHelp exists. It's online, it's remote, and it's as easy as filling out an application and then BetterHelp will match you with your perfect therapist in as little as a few days. And I always say that finding the perfect therapist is like dating, which means you may need to change therapists a few times. BetterHelp makes it really easy and it's free to change. While in Australia, for example, you need to go to your doctor, get a new referral, and this process is expensive and time consuming, but it's free with BetterHelp. So if you're struggling with something, consider online therapy and use my BetterHelp link here to get 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. Don't ever criticize or comment on something that somebody cannot change. I feel like I don't even need to elaborate. This is something that I think slips by a lot of people, but it is rude to use your phone when you are talking to somebody else, especially if you're at dinner and on a date. The phone should be either face down on the table or in your bag or on somewhere else, not up, because then you get a notification and your attention draws away from that person. If you are working, for example, you're expecting an important call, you should let the other person know, hey, I might be receiving a call or a text and this is why I need to keep the phone on my table. I find it incredibly rude when I'm at lunch with someone and they're checking their phone or they're answering a call. I was on a date the other day and the guy literally, two minutes into meeting this man, bruh, he's on the phone, he's like, oh, I've got to get this call, bruh. When I'm with someone, if somebody calls me and it's urgent, I either say, hey, sorry, I have to take this call right now and I excuse myself or I just, I decline the call. But for the most part, my phone's like even on silent. The person you're with should be getting your attention, not your phone. And if we are discussing something and I want to Google whatever we're speaking about, I will always say, hey, sorry, I just got to check my phone right now because I want to Google this. If you are borrowing something from somebody, you need to return it in the condition they gave it to you in. You need to take better care of it than you would your own personal items. Because have you ever lent somebody something and they totally tarnished it and you get it back and you're like, this is not what I lent to you. And if I knew that you would destroy my item, why would I lend it to you in the first place? Guys, I'm saying all these things and it sounds like common knowledge, right? But it's really only common knowledge to people who have grown up well and their parents have taught them well. Because these are all things that I've all the things I'm putting in this list are things people have done to me in the past like two weeks that I'm remembering. Never ever ever show up empty handed somewhere, especially if you are going to dinner at somebody's house or you're staying over as a guest. You should always bring something. And if you do, for example, stay at somebody's house, yes, bring a gift, but also you should show them, you should like try to take them out for dinner afterwards and just in general show your appreciation. On the topic of being a guest at someone's home, even if someone says to you, go and make yourself at home, it is not your cue to put your feet on the table, put your feet on the couch, um, wear shoes in the house. If they don't wear shoes in the house, you take off your shoes as well. You need to basically see what they're doing. If you're at someone's house and you don't like the food they made, because we've all been there where our friend's parent makes a dish and we just don't like it. I'm the type of person, I'm really sensitive to home cooking. I don't know what it is, but I will gag. But then my mom told me this thing when I was younger. She said, Simone, even if you start to gag, just force yourself to eat it because in a few bites, you're going to get used to it. Finish your meal, even if you don't like it because you only have to eat this dish once, but you're going to make the person who cooked that so happy and feel so appreciated. This is a little bit more of a life lesson that I think parents should teach, but there is no free lunch in this world. So if something is 
too good to be true, it probably is. And no free lunch meaning whatever you get, you're going to have to pay for it one way or the other. In public, you shouldn't be speaking on speakerphone and you should also be mindful of how loud your headphones are, especially when on public transport. It's really irritating when the person next to you is like watching a video and it's so loud or you can hear their music. Like, bruh, turn the volume down. Turn the volume down, be mindful of other people's space. Nobody wants to hear your music unless it's my music because I have really great music taste. I'm kidding. No, I'm not. Don't talk too loudly in public areas as well. This is funny because as someone who's half Asian and I was raised with an Asian mother, and if you're raised with an Asian parent, you will know Asian parents speak so damn loudly in public. So this is something I've had to teach my mom actually. But yeah, you just shouldn't be yelling in public. And if you're having an argument as well, don't raise your voice in public. Go to a private area and do it. It's not respectful. Nobody wants to hear your fight in public. Don't make a mess for the waiters, which means kids don't be making little recipes, little potions at the dinner table because the person cleaning up is just gonna have to do a lot more work. Also, I think young people tend to do this, but we will pass our plates to the waiter. I just think it's a polite thing to do. But also you should pay uh, respect to your waiter. So if they're talking to you, you look at them and you acknowledge them and you treat them like an actual human. Please, thank you, tipping, whatever. If you're staying over at a guest house overnight, don't use too much of their like electricity and utilities and um, I don't know, eat too much of their food in the fridge. You wanna be really respectful of the fact that you're a guest and it is not your home, which means like, you know, don't take showers that are too long, especially if they are conservative because you don't know people's financial situation as well. Perhaps they are trying to save money and they're just being considerate by extending you uh, an offer to stay at their place. Don't boast or excessively talk about your accomplishments or your finances because you have no idea what the people around you are going through. And, you know, I guess we can talk about evil eye, but this is not really about evil eye. It's more about uh, respecting other people's emotions. And sure, you can say, oh, well, it's not good to be humble. Like, I should be proud of what I've achieved. Yes, you can be proud and you should be, but also be mindful of what other people are going about, especially if you are privy to their situation. Imagine your friend is poor and they're struggling and they're having a really hard time. And you're like, oh my God, I just got a new, like, Mercedes. I just got a job promotion. It's just, you know, it's not something you want to boast about too much and talk about. It's just not respectful and you should be mindful of that situation. When you're leaving somewhere, always push your chair in afterwards. You don't want to leave it for someone else to do or maybe someone will run into the chair. You don't know. Just fucking push it in after. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These are some things which, in my opinion, everybody should be doing. Doesn't matter what culture you're from and if you do all these things, congratulations. Your parents raised you really well and you're a considerate, respectful human Human being. So if liebe dich, private program is coming out soon and thank you for watching this video. Tschüss! To we make it work, you're beautiful and I'm insane We're American made Give me Hallmark, one dream under the one lover Make me happy and blue Norman Rockwell, no high under <coughs> our company's pride It's just yes, me and you Oh god, it's super my list I guess we all do get a snitch On the street with the neighborhood kids Selling off their thinking You're in the yard and like the fire As the summer fades away We can't think of what you said you're right, I do we need you work American made Oh yeah, oh yeah Sound off by the bank, you see this Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah Sound off by the bank, you see this Oh God, miss you on my lips Kiss me a little kind of spit On the stoop with the neighborhood kids Sound off by the bank, you see this Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, 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 yeah,
makes me a little bit of bitch. I'm getting high now because we're older. Better than a clover. Whoa, 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 ever. Everything, ever. Whoa, 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 ever. Everything, ever. Whoa, 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 ever. Everything, ever. Whoa, 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 ever. Me, myself, I like diamonds. Gonna get into a clover. Burn over, honey. Over and over, honey. Over and over, honey. Over and over, honey. You are mine, my be Jealous of your love. If you were mine, I'd be jealous of your love. If you were mine, I'd be jealous of your love.